Hello everybody, I am Kayla Joseph, and today I'm going to be doing a travel vlog. Me and my friends recently went to Denver, Colorado, um, so we went in December of 2020, and here's just kind of a guide to some really fun places to go, some ways to kind of spice up your trip, especially during the pandemic when you're going to be inside a lot of the time, um, and so let's just jump right in. Okay, so first things first, make sure you pick the right group of people to go with because um, as you know, like attitudes and issues like that can ruin a group trip. Group trips are super hard, but they can be so fun, right? And so we had a great time. There was um, 11 of us total. I wanna say there was maybe five guys and six girls. Um, we had a great time. So um, first of all, we chose the Airbnb because of the pandemic, especially. We knew that we were gonna want to um, cook a lot of the time and so it turns out that in Denver you cannot eat anywhere inside they only allow outside seating for um, food places and a lot of places won't seat you more than six people and so that was fine with us so we went ahead and got an Airbnb in Lafayette Colorado I hope I'm saying that right Lafayette I don't know I'm not I don't, Lafayette Lafayette um, Lafayette either way um, that was about 40 minutes from the airport okay so um of course i'll show some videos of that uh airbnb but yes we chose an airbnb that was um it was about four bedrooms um and three bathrooms it was perfect a beautiful kitchen so we cooked a lot of the time um the main place that we stayed at was walmart because it was up the street um they had a lot of different restaurants in the area you could postmates doordash grubhub all of that um but we couldn't sit down and eat together which was fine because we cooked um so that's something to think about as you're booking your um as you're booking your trip my roomie for the weekend it's Keisha. And we are staying in the queen suite in the snow on the ground, and I'm super excited. That's Brittany's wig, so don't come for her. <laughs> Brittany can leave her wig out if she pleases. <laughs> oh, right here. Don't even. Don't do my girl. Brittany, Tico try to come for your wig. So beforehand, we planned out some different activities to do. You're going to want to do this. Pick activities that you know you can do inside or outside at your Airbnb. So the first thing we did, um, my friend Jennifer, she put together the most hilarious, the most fun uh, murder mystery party. And it was great. And so I won't give away the clues because you might, because she's actually um, going to be working on some to sell. And so I don't want to give away any of the, the clues or any of the answers, but it was so fun. Make sure you pick people who you know are going to get into it. Like So another thing that we did to make sure that we were going to have a good time is that we chose some themes. So um, we made sure that each night there was a different pajama theme. So we did a 90s night, we did um, a flannel night, and then we did a Christmas theme night. So that Friday was so, 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 so fun. Um, we chose to go on a guided tour. It did take eight hours. Eight hours seems like a long time, but it's really not, especially when you account for transportation. Remember that Colorado is not necessarily like in the mountains. You're going to go up into the mountains to go on your tour, which could take an hour to an hour and a half, two hours, something like that. So we were originally going to Breckenridge. Well, it turned out that Breckenridge had too much snow. And so it wasn't safe. And so they upgraded our tour to a um, private tour to the Rocky Mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. We chose Aspire Tours and I'll put the link below so that you guys can um, look on their website and everything. We had a tour guide named Kyle and it was amazing. Like he also let us know that um, if you're going on a guided tour and especially if it's a private group, you can always call them and see if they'll come get you because it turns out that we were meeting him at Union Station, but he drove right past our Airbnb to get there. So he could have just picked us up and dropped us back off. So either way, we ended up going 
Um, it was about an hour to, up to the mountains and they have all different sites planned for you. So they'll drop you off in a tiny mountain town to get coffee and um, muffins and all that. And you can walk around and buy stuff. Um, so we did that. We went to a frozen lake. We went to an old Catholic church that was in the mountains. Okay, here we are on the frozen lake, just playing around. It was super scary. My mom was like, don't do it. And then here we are um, at the frozen waterfall. It was beautiful. And then here's us, <laughs> just girls being girls. <laughs> okay, guys, so just an update. We are <laughs> we are um, in the Rocky Mountains and it's absolutely beautiful. We have the best tour guide ever. I'll leave all of the details below. Um, this is our view right now and it's amazing. I'll also tell you what to pack because none of us have gotten cold, which means that we we did our thing. Okay? Oh my God! Look how deep. <laughs> You right. see what I'm working with? But we're gonna get whiskey, so it's gonna get better. Okay. <laughs> Everybody say hello, hello, hello. hello. Kyle, say hello. Don't take your eyes off the road. <laughs> <laughs> say hey. Kyle, so we've been on a frozen lake. We've been to a Catholic church from the 1930s. And it's just been beautiful and historic and just awesome. Drag you know, and just looking at the Lord's um, oh, uh, creation. Y'all hate the Lord. Oh, no. oh my God. So he took us to Elkins Whiskey Distillery. And let me tell you something. First of all, um, realize that you are in the mountain, so the altitude is much higher. And so that alcohol gets into your blood so fast. Um, and so literally we did like some different, they had like whiskey tasting, like like flights. Um, and I mean, in like five minutes, everybody's like, ah, just really acting a fool. It was great. <laughs> So we ended up taking flights. Um, a lot of us split them. Um, it was actually pretty good. I don't really like flavored whiskey though, is what I found out. <laughs> So after a long day of being out and walking and sledding and all these different things, we were so tired. Oh my gosh, like we slept the entire way back down the mountain. <laughs> And then the next day, it was time for brunch. Brunch is an easy way to um, basically not spend too much money, but have a great time. A lot of Airbnbs will allow you to use the dishes in the cabinet and whatnot. So there was really cute wine glasses and all kind of stuff that we could use to make our brunch extra cute and extra fun. Okay, so we went snow tubing at Echo Mountain. I would recommend it, but like it's more fun as a larger group just because it's super repetitive. You're literally sliding down um, like the the lanes of the mountain in a tube and then going back up to the top. And they have like a lift, which is great because because of the altitude, you get tired so quickly. Like literally you can walk from your car, I don't know, like just a few steps and you're like, whoo, shoot can't breathe right so um they have a little lift to take you up there it's fun but it's more fun with more people um you book it by the hour the important thing to know about echo mountain is that you need to book a shuttle to come get you through their website because a lot of ubers will drive you there but they won't bring you back down the mountain um also the, you might not have service or whatnot to be able to call an uber back we were very very fortunate to um be able to ask our Uber driver to stay. And because one of the people in our party didn't actually end up going tubing, we were like, well, we'll pay for your tubing and you could just stay with us. And he was like, well, I've never been before, so sure, I'll stay. So he ended up staying with us and driving us back to our Airbnb, which was um, perfect. I would say, I would recommend that you rent a car if that's an option for you. I would, cause we had one person that, or a couple in our group rented a car and it really saved us so many Uber trips, like to Walmart and like to little places. Like some people went to go to the dispensary, some people didn't. So it was so easy to have four people jump in a car, um, jump in the rental car and go and come back versus having to like catch an Uber. 
All right, so the essentials. Some things that you're gonna wanna bring are things you wanna do before you go. Number one, you're going to want to get a lot of uh, like insulated under, under gear, underwear, whatever you wanna call it. So Costco, Costco is your friend. Go to Costco, they got everything. I ended up getting my snow boots for $29 and they were perfect. Um, I ended up getting, they had these sets like of the tops and the bottoms, each was $12 and it came with two in each pack and they were lined. Um, so that could go under my, that went underneath my snowsuit. It was perfect. I got gloves there with um, insulation in them. They maybe was 11, they maybe were 11 or $15, not very expensive. Um, make sure that you have water. When you get, like when you get there, get cases and cases and cases of water because you will get dehydrated so quickly if you're not from that um, area. In the mountain, it's super cold. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri, so it's not, the, the temperature in Denver is not very different than it is here. We get snow here, we get cold weather. So it wasn't really, um, it wasn't that bad to me, but up in the mountain, honey, it was a whole different kind of cold. And on top of the fact that you can't breathe because of the altitude and everything like that. So stay hydrated, um, get proper under gear, um, get gloves, get a hat, get a scarf, get good socks to put in your boots. Um, I would say about the snowsuit, my friend Brittany, she is amazing at you know thrifting and so she went to the thrift store and she got like she literally was just like grabbing all the adult size like um snow suits and mine was five dollars um and it was perfect it was amazing it kept me warm um i put it over on the outside of my snow boots which you might want to look at that too when you buy snow suits online they're really like fitted and they're cute but check the material because some of them are thin um they're cute but they ain't gonna keep you warm those are my tips we had an amazing time we had so much fun i would definitely 10 out of 10 go back um i want to go back in the summertime and see you know different things to do in the in the warmer weather and then um hopefully after covid i'll be able to like eat at restaurants and different things and give you those reviews and you know give you some options for going if you have any questions please dm me please um write comment whatever um and let me know if you like this video if you want more travel videos um and yes enjoy denver Oh, 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 oh,